This is Family Author Forum 412 and the title is The Primary Decider. The Primary Decider. Decisions have to be made in life, but among the decision makers, there is the primary decision maker. And that's what we are going to look at today in this podcast. There are many decision makers, and one of them is a human being, is a decision maker. But there is another decision maker that is over and above the human being. And this is the creator of all things. This is the living God. Is the admit supreme and sovereign decider of what takes place in the earth, under the earth, and in the heavens. Have you ever thought that if he created the world that he left the world to itself or after creating man he left man to make decisions without his influence yes believers have to understand and other human beings that the maker of us all is the primary decision maker and that is cancer stands and not any human beings cancer what happens is this that man's decision because man has been given the choice of making decisions they are influenced by the creator even without man knowing man has the free will but god is sovereign and man's will cannot contravene the sovereign will of god whether the thing is good or not there is a primary decider and that is God. The counsel of God stands in any way and in anything. Man's decisions are influenced by the Lord. Whether man knows it or not. Whether the decision is right or not. And that is as a result of the foreknowledge of God. That God from the beginning knew all things and what will happen and who will make what decision and that is subservient to the will of god one time somebody called boris bazano who wrote the memoirs of joseph stalin in 1923 made this statement I consider it completely unimportant who is in the party who will vote and how he will vote but what is extraordinarily important is this who will count the votes and how that sounds like what we say in kenya there is not the vote caster that counts but is those who count the votes but i'm here to tell you today and now that it is not the voter it is not the counter it is God himself who makes the final 
decision. In our previous podcast, we looked at a verse of scripture in the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 20, that God himself sets up kings and deposes others as well. There is no any leader that can ascend into the throne without the allowance of God. Neither can there be any king or ruler or president that is deposed without God's knowledge and allowance. In Daniel 2.20, the scripture says, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He sets up kings and deposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. The living God is the creator and maker of all things. Whether they are visible or invisible, whether they are lively or unlively, he made all things for his pleasure. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. That is in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. That all things have been created for God's purpose and for his will. He had his own intent and purpose as to why he created all things. This means that all things serve his purpose, his will, and his intent. The Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 1 that in him, Christ, we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. That refers to God, that he works all things and everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. When things happen that we don't even understand, they are within and to conform to the purpose of his will. All things were made according to his will, according to his purpose, and also according to his plan. No one can thwart the plan of God, not even Satan himself. No man, no demon, no Satan, nobody can thwart the plan the will and the purpose of God. Prophet Isaiah stated that for the Lord of hosts has purposed and who shall disannul it and his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? No one can stay away the hand of God and this purpose can never be disannulled by anyone. That is in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 26 to 27. No one can cancel the purpose of the living God. No one is able to turn his back from doing what he has purposed. King Nebuchadnezzar was puffed up since he was the king representing the head of gold in Babylon. He was taken into the forest 
where he ate grass like an ox for seven years. After seven years, this is what he observed. He says, All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand, or say unto him, What doest thou? That is in Daniel chapter 4 and verse 35. This is, is, is an individual that thought that he was above God. He thought that he was the one making decisions and calling shots in Babylon simply because he had gone to Jerusalem, the city of the Lord, and destroyed the temple and the city. He thought that he had all power. He had all that it took uh, for him to be a great shot. But that's when he was taken to the forest by God, command for seven years, and he ate grass like an ox, after which it dawned into his mind. And that's when he said that all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and God does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say unto him what doest thou god is supreme and there is none else like you it is not the man that he may think he makes decisions it is god influence upon man that makes man to make decision and whatever decision a man makes whether good or evil it cannot go contrary to the will of god unless god is not god but if god is god then whatever decision that is made anywhere has to align according to the will of god for that which he said would take place in the beginning continues to take place until the end of the world prophet job wrote in job 23 and verse 13 saying but he god is in one mind and who can turn him at what a soul desires even that he does what happens in the earth and in the heavens and beneath the earth is what god decided beforehand that it should be it's only the intent and the will and the purpose of god that comes to pass in the earth prophet isaiah in chapter 46 and verse 10 he observes who can tell you what is going to happen all i say will come to pass for i do whatever i wish that is in living bible version but now in king james version the same reads that my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. The counsel of God in all the armies of the heavens and of the earth. Counsel of God stands. No one can go against the counsel of God. Man is influenced by the supreme will of God. Whether the man knows it or not a wise man wrote in proverbs 19 and verse 21 he observes that there are many devices in a man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand men may gather and do many schemes 
but it's only the counsel of the Lord that will stand. The will of God does not negate the involvement of man. Man is free to do what he wants to do, but there is no way in the finality of it all man can override and go against the will of the Almighty God. Luke wrote, quoting James, the stepbrother of Jesus Christ, in Acts 15 and verse 18, that known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world unto the end of the same. So known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world to the end of it all. Hear what Rook also wrote in chapter 4 and verse 27. 26 says, The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Lord, and against the anointed one, that is Christ. Verse 27, Indeed Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Verse 28, they did what your power and will had decided beforehand should happen. My friend, brother and sister, whatever happens in life harmonizes with the will of God. Until we meet tomorrow, but another. Amen.